I got gotcha. you. We're getting you out of here. No one has ever returned from behind Ket walls. Then you'll be the first. Let's get out of here. I'm not the only one here. They took the entire cell. Vitals are bad. The immune system's been decimated. <sighs> you will not take it! It is meant for the Archon himself. She's coming with us. Wait. I want to know why the Archon. Arrogant simpletons. This is a gift. Who are you to deny it? You turn them into monsters that fight their own people. These Chosen join with us to become great beyond your ability to understand. Like them, I was once wretched, and the exalted DNA of our great Archon entwines with mine. I stand on the shoulders of his greatness, as they do, as one day, you will. Yep. <sighs> Except, greatness can't be engineered. Pathfinder, I am tracking multiple inbound Ket cruisers. You will all be exalted. Sam, is there an off switch to this horror palace? I've accessed the EM field. I can overload at your command. You promised you would get our people out. There's no time to open hundreds of pods, let alone help the Angara Wait. inside. Leave my sacred temple intact, and I will open the pods of the Chosen. Take them. Just leave this holy place standing. No. Even if I die here, this place must be destroyed. We can come back to destroy it. Let's free these here now. If your plan fails, the cat will simply fill this place again. With respect, our compatriots are also here. Our fighters, our scientists, our strength! All right. Release the Angara below. Enact emergency shutdown. Release all the Chosen. Jal, have the Resistance free as many as they can before the Ket arrive. I will. And thank you. I thank you too. I see you be- Not likely. She deserved much worse. We have the Moshai. Heading to the roof for extraction. Incoming! Not gonna let us go without a fight. I don't know how this is going to end! I will help! Come! Stand near me! No, Mosai! Save your strength! That's my decision to make!
I'm sorry we fought. <sighs> what we saw will set our cause on fire. Yes. My broken heart can't even process it. Lexi, can you give us a minute? Sure thing. But go gentle. She's in a fragile state. Did she just call me frail? Fragile. Jal says you're a pathfinder from the Milky Way. Do you feel up for a talk? Ah, so now you value what I have to say. I did what I thought was right. I'm good with that. You'll understand then when it's time for me to do what I think is right. So the facility, what's the purpose of all that? They call it exaltation. They believe that those they exalt are given a great gift. Gift? They snatch us, defile and shatter us. All the ones we love, I... I, I can't. 
It's a complex genetic construct, an interchange of traits that the Ket use to advance their species. So they steal genes, but why? Reproduction. Domination, tyranny, annihilation. Yes, and yet, the Archon didn't take me to his ship to transform me. I hung immobile, tormented, never sleeping, brought to him on a whim. He showed me remnant tech and beat me when I wouldn't speak. Oh no. Remnant, of course. He's obsessed. Like you are. Yes, Jal told me. You rescued me hoping to get into Aya's vault. My people have traveled so far. We'll die without a place to settle. These remnant vaults may be the key. A key to help both our species prosper. I feel for your people in a way that you clearly do not for mine. But emotion must never get in the way of science. I'll take you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Moshe Sefer. I'm happy to answer any other questions for you, Pathfinder. Anytime. Just need to rest up a bit while I recover my strength. Just off to the cargo bay if you need me. Got a minute? I'm in the bio lab. Looks like pictures of the exaltation chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd. Well, imagine if it was Sarah. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left and I was... Well, her age now. You raised your sister by yourself? That can't have been easy. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. Come on, you're strong, smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? I thought I hated the Ket before. Then we learned about Exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. 
Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. How did you keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Liam? You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Looks like you're stressed. I don't want to add to it. No, wait. It's, it's just... When will Helios realize what it takes? The Ket steal what people are. Hitting that facility on Vol should have united us. So I reached out, trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Ja. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. Are you sure it wasn't how you phrased the question? Your talk with Jaw was indelicate. They said as much back on the Force. Another thing I left behind. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it, it has to be normal. I need something familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything from the Milky Way? One or two things, but the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family works here together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends and Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. We do what we do. It doesn't always have to make sense. Uh, I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. Join the club. The screw-up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. <sighs> this will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. Pathfinder, sorry if things got strange last time we talked. You're the first person I told about all that. It, um, felt really good. Anything I can do for my team, Liam. Stuff like that goes above and beyond Pathfinder. At least I hope so. Anyway, made me think we should do more just out and about. Off ship. Like the market on Aya. I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on. But mostly, it's a day out. Something familiar. Turns out I need that. I 
still waiting on our visit to Aya. Useful, but also fun. Looking forward to it. Just checking in. I wanted to ask about you. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? I have to know about the car. We'd wrench on it as a family. Mom suggested it, and Dad liked a happy mom. That's how I fell into mechanical stuff. Armor and jump jets. Mom wasn't a fan of the second part. You know how it is. I worried my parents from time to time. That's a kid's job. I probably crossed the line a few times, though. Like jumping a galaxy. That's why I have to make this work. If I don't, then Andromeda was a mistake. I said goodbye to too many people to let that happen. Tell me about your friends in crisis response. <laughs> I swore I wouldn't tell anyone what they did. Stealing the shuttle for the car was above and beyond. Dondi, Base, Mazzy, Noel, Cap, and goddamn Hammond. <laughs> the best people when buildings have fallen down. Eventually, I'll have to start a new branch here, you know? I promised. We'll talk later. I know it. Still waiting on our visit to Aya. Useful, but also fun. Looking forward to it. Where's this round from? Straight from Luminescent Haval. Glows on the way out, too. What isn't? Still waiting on our visit to Aya. Useful, but also fun. Looking forward to it. We'll talk later. I know it. You know what we saw back there, right? This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the cat do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe. But I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly, each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon... He's got an army to back up his crazy. We're the new variable here. He can't predict what we'll do. That is an advantage, so long as we play it right. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Pathfinder. 
Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Tell me more. Shoot stuff and don't die. Always works for me. Sure. Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, do you think you'll have kids? Why is that on your mind? Jill. The best friend I mentioned while I was thrashing you at poker. She's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it... We're basically here to spawn. Those of us lucky enough to live through this. Exactly. And there aren't that many to start. We're a disaster or two away from not having enough numbers to survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Oosh. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. There are other ways to reproduce. It doesn't have to come from a romantic relationship. I guess I could donate DNA, or however it works. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gut moved on before I was born. I had no idea. It must have been hard. Hey, I turned out all right. He did his part, brought me into the world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. Ah, uh, would you mind taking a slight detour and dropping me back in the Milky Way? What's the problem? Little something I just heard about called exaltation. Guess you should have read the fine print on the initiative brochure. Or read it at all. I gotta start eating more protein and getting a full night's sleep. It'll take everything we got to get through this mess. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Cat take other species' genes. Asari take other species' traits. PB, don't tell me we actually agree on something. Changed my mind. They're nothing alike. <sighs> Going through the readouts from the cat facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. I saw another of Dad's memories. I was in this one. Sarah, too. We were home visiting. Dad told us about going through the Charon Relay. So you got your sense of exploration from your father? We joked it was in our DNA. Then that part of him lives on. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Yes? I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. You always look hungry. These things make for a good snack. Or target practice.
Ryder. Exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. They're no longer Angara. The cat changed them into something else. That's the atrocity. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. They aren't just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. It's too late for the Exalted. We can't let feelings get in the way. That's what gets me. The Exalted aren't converts. They're Ket. This is really getting to you. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics. Get Angaran military advisors. Research exaltation. Just... I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. We got this. We're back to back, shoulder to shoulder. Or whatever you like. Nothing fazes you, does it? You always bounce back, smiling that smile. Like you know it's just what I need. You're important to me. Is that so strange? And sweet, too. What's a girl to do? I wish this could fix everything. Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At least now we can prepare to fight the Ket. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. Ryder? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Still deciphering the Ark's last known course from the flight recorder and making sure we're ready for a fight. Any more commando war stories? That's all I can share, anyway. I miss them. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Jal? Thank you for checking. But I'm all right. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? You know? Crumbling won't help anyone. I agree. We have to be strong. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. We all have many mothers. My family's small. And are you close? I was. I am. My mom and dad are dead. My sister's really sick. She's on the Nexus. I'm kind of an orphan at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah, I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be.
I like having you around. Specifically you. Because of my skill and knowledge? Not really. Because you enjoy spending time with me as much as I do with you. You do? You're fascinating. <laughs> so bold, yet mysterious. So odd. That's... Thanks. And I mean it. There's always more to say and to learn, isn't there? Can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Did you always want to be a fighter? Did you study anything particular in school? I... <laughs> no. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm not a fighter. Not really. The Ket occupation creates chaos. So our education is chaotic. <laughs> I'm not really anything. But that's an excuse. The truth is, I don't know what I want yet for my life at my age. I hope being here will inspire me. Can you tell me about your family? Uh, assuming you have one. Sit down. This will take time. Is someone bringing us snacks and drinks? Whoa, your family's that big? I have one true mother, Sahuna. And more than five additional mothers. And many, many, many siblings. <laughs> and cousins, all raised together. Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone, taken, or killed by the Ket. We never found his body. I'm sorry about that, Jarl. I understand. I just lost my dad. <laughs> Something in common between aliens, then. We are fatherless, yet we fight on. Anything else you want to ask? Do Angara plan their futures? Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is lacking. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. Hello. Settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Oh, Callo. Callo's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? We could go, but we need to balance our priorities. Why? Just saying, if I'd created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. Now you're just playing with me. So radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word.
the swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the Lick Test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants, they achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me and then lived out their lives while I slept. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. Some crazy, but mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Ryder. I needed that. Anytime. Liam says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because it didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every vid's better with snacks, right? I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare and... You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. Cat genetics defies everything we know. They're bits of different species, and yet all cat. It's bizarre, horrifying, fascinating, all at once. If you and the rest of the team could figure them out, it might make a huge difference. Already on it, Pathfinder. I should get back to things. Sounds good. The hell you did? You can't just undo ten hours of work. I had to. Your revamp risks power imbalance between decks, something we solved back home. It's twice as efficient. Just because it doesn't match your sainted specs. And now it does. As you say, deal with it. Kalo. I know, just please don't let this distract you. What can I do for you? Tell me something else about the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we... For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the... No, oh, if I gossip anymore, you know where I'll... Old orbit is steady.
Stars and skies light our way. Stars and skies light our way. She knows how to play to a crowd. <laughs> She's the most high. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the Resistance and the Pathfinder, I wouldn't be here. We made a good team. We freed more than just the Moshai. And the Pathfinder killed a Ket leader. We have a lot to celebrate. I promise to lead the Pathfinder to Aya's vault. The sooner I learn what's special about that place, the faster I can fix Eos. Then get on with it. I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. We're happy to make room for you on the Nexus. We'll provide an embassy here as well. Our city is open to you. Join us. Well done, Jol. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. Jal has already become a valued member of my crew. Of course he has. I see the benefit. Request granted. I need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me.
follow. We're heading back to the outpost. Bill, yeah, boss, we can stay in the water. City team to collect more precise reviews. This is my first visit to Ayah. It's more beautiful than I ever imagined. Thank you. I work hard to keep it that way. They call it the memorial garden. Many of these plants came from places we lost to the cat. It's all we have to remember. Does looking at them ever make you sad? All the time. Then I remember that if they survive, so can we. It's her time, Arbiter, not yours. I don't know how I'm expected to do my job under these constraints. Improvise. Our laws need revising now that you're here. Pathfinder, I'm Enro Bosan, assistant to the governor. As you can imagine, your arrival raised concerns from Aya's people. I thought I'd proven they have nothing to worry about. You are one person. They want the Nexus to hear our voices. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate if you'd take a look and forward their communications to your people. 